Hope does not disappoint. I am the Lord. They shall not be ashamed to wait for me. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, and whose hope is in the Lord. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for in Yah, the Lord, is my everlasting strength. My soul, wait silently for God alone, for my expectation is from Him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed. God, determining to show more abundantly to the heirs of promise the immutability of his counsel, confirmed it by an oath that by two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we might have strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold of the hope set before us. This hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which enters the presence behind the veil where the forerunner has entered for us, even Jesus. The offense of the cross. If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. We must through many tribulations enter the kingdom of God. Whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. Therefore, to you who believe, he is precious. But to those who are disobedient, the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone, and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense. God forbid that I should boast, except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. I have been crucified with Christ. Those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we endure, we shall also reign with Him. If we deny Him, He also will deny us.